Hi, I'm Lisa Marie Latino with Hip New Jersey. And today we're here at Bella Vista Country Club in Marlboro for the ETT Women 2015 Power of Connection Conference. So what exactly is going on at this two-day conference? It's a personal and business development conference. So we have workshops, we have keynote speakers, connection sessions, and it's like-minded women who know, like, support each other and try to help each other in business. We're doing something that's very, very special. We're embracing all women in business. Uh, with a great seminar and I'm really thrilled to have everybody today. What's really fabulous is that you see a progression from um, the last couple of years when we hosted this event. Attendees are actually keynote speakers this year so it's really remarkable to see where they were and now where they are and they're shining. What is the number one piece of advice you would give to aspiring business owners? Dream bigger than your initial dream. I had a really tiny dream and as time has progressed, it's become a very big dream and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And um, I love it. I just keep following the path of, I never thought I could do this. And then now I'm on TV, I have a magazine and it's just, it's a lot of prayer and a lot of faith and a lot of hard work. What's the number one thing you've learned here so far? I think that I've just learned just about the true power of connections, the power of energy, and just truly how much um, how much we are all capable of. Once I got here, I was so happy to be here to like share the love and and um, feel the love and the inspiration of the other women. They have some really awesome speakers here and some really wonderful offerings. So it's just been a great day to share different experiences. I'm about to do a panel with some hip media women. I never even. Well, I was like, I'd love to have print, but I didn't have the capital or just never thought that could even happen. So I just started online and I gave myself homework every night and I just took it one day at a time. And now, 10 years later, still online. But what scares me the most is starting my own business. That was more scary to me than going on the news and, and you know, delivering information to people. So I think it's all, a, you know, you put it in perspective. What some people fear, other people don't fear. But um, I think it's having that confidence, a confidence that you know you could do it somehow, some way, and you get over that fear. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't fun for me. You have to love it because you're always on call. I have amazing family and friends that want to see me do well, so they put up with it. And anyone in my life that hasn't put up with it, they're gone. What makes you think when I retire at 40, you're gonna enjoy that with me? Very nice. <laughs> That was so awesome, so informative, and it was an honor to be up there with such amazing women. For more on this segment, log on to hipnewjersey.com.